Hello, T-Ballers. This is Coach Jerry from Newark American Little League T-Ball Phillies. Hope you've been outside practicing, either in your backyard or at the park or even the baseball field, which is where we are today. Today, we have a regular baseball field, T-Ball field, where we're going to be playing. Today, I'm going to talk about all the different positions that you'll be playing when you come out here with your baseball glove. Okay, as you can see, I'm standing right behind home plate. Okay, that's where, of course, where the batter stands. And the, one of the positions will be the catcher. The catcher gets to wear the equipment like the mask, the chest protector, and sometimes shin guards, but not all the time. But we wear that equipment so, <clears throat> so it protects you, so you're safe, okay? So where you would stand, if you were the catcher, you'd stand back here just so it's safe, because sometimes the batter might let go of a bat. You want to be safe, okay, standing there. So you just play back here, all right? Okay, so this is the catcher position, okay? Next one we're going to move up is the pitcher, okay? You follow me, it's right up this way, okay? So the pitcher position will probably be somewhere around here, okay? You're going to stand in this area so you're fairly close to the batter, okay? And like any position out here, you're going to bend your knees, okay? Have your glove down, ready for the ball. It's the ready position, okay? Or baseball ready, you'll hear that a lot, okay? Baseball ready. You can put your hands on your knees if you want, or you can just be ready like this, okay? As long as you're bending your knees, you don't want to sit on the ground. No, that's not good. So stand up, bend your knees, okay? This is the catch or pitcher's position, all right? Okay, next we're gonna just put a ball here so you get an idea where you're gonna be standing. We're gonna move over here to first base, okay? So you just follow me, we'll come right over here. This will be the first base position. You want to play not right on the base. You don't want to stand right on the base right away because you're going to have a runner right there, okay? And you don't want to get in their way, okay? So you want to stand back here, okay, right behind, so the runner starts running and won't run into you, okay? You will stand back in here, just like any position, the ready position. Okay, if the ball is hit to one of your teammates, you're going to walk over, put your foot on the base, Wherever the ball's coming from, remember, give them a nice target. Put your glove out, and they're going to throw the ball to you, okay? See, you just put it right on the base. There you go. And then you can come back here. And coaches, what I do, especially when they're just starting out, I'll draw a circle right in the dirt, okay? And that's going to be the where the um, your uh, t-ball player is going to be standing, okay? It just gives them an idea, especially when they're starting out, where they're going to be standing. Plus, you'll notice when a ball is hit out in the field, these ball, these children will be all running towards it at once. So you want to tell them when you when they're in their circle, to stay in their circle and wait for the ball to come to them. That way, they'll be there and they won't be running over with everybody else. And you have seven or eight players getting together. So the circle is kind of important. That's where they stand, and that's where they wait for the ball, okay? All right, there's the ball, that's the first base position. And we're gonna move over here to the second base position, which, of course, is between first and second, okay? So it's right in here. You wanna back up a little bit, too, because you don't want the runner coming running into you. Same thing, ready position. This is about where the second base position will be, okay? All right? So we'll put a ball here at second base. Anybody know what's next over here? It's called shortstop. Okay, shortstop is between second base and third base. Okay, so it's right about in here. Okay. Just like I said, coaches, you can draw a circle. Okay. Your team or your player is going to stand. Okay, here we go. Same thing. This is a shortstop. Ready position, okay? So after the shortstop position, we have third base. Okay, here we go. The third base position, just like first, you're not gonna stand right on the base, all right? Because you have the runner right here. You're gonna stand back a little bit behind the base. That way you're not in the way of the runner coming, okay? Here's where you'll be standing. 
You'll be waiting for the ball, wait for the ball to come to you. Remember, don't run over with your teammates and get the ball, especially if it's all the way on the other side of the field. Okay? So this is the third base position. So coaches, when you have like eight or nine children on your team, we usually don't play outfield positions because most of the time the ball doesn't go there. So what I do, I fill in more infield positions. Okay, so here's one here. I'll put one here in between shortstop and third. I'll put one of the players in here. Okay. Sometimes I'll even put one right here near second base. Right in here. Then we got one in between, we'll go in between second and first. So right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pitcher is eight, and if you use a catcher, that's nine, okay? If you happen to have more than nine, then just, just put them somewhere in between, okay? We just use most of them in the infield. If you want to use outfield, it's up to you. But it's just easier having them all in here, okay? All right? Okay, that's about it. You guys can come out to your local baseball field and practice if you want. See if you know where the positions are. All right, I guess we're about run out of time. Okay, this is Coach Jerry. Baseball rocks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.